Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the vlog. I want to show you guys this place. I've been wanting to go to for a long time. It's in Melbourne. It's called the Australian Percussion Academy, and it's a percussion school. And I want to see if my good friend Sergey Golovko is here. He's the guy that owns this place. That's Sergey, right there. So, is that, is that Sergey playing right now? Sergey, Sergey, how you doing, man? What? What? That was, that was good, man. Who are you? Um, I'm Adam. Adam Ten. You remember me? What are you doing here? I, I just wanted it's to come see you. It's a private property. Oh, I'm so sorry. I just, I just wanted to see. It's a percussion academy. I just, I and just... I'm practicing, I... mate. I'm busy. You want to you wanna show me what you're practicing? Yes. It's a difficult piece of music. Oh. This is the most difficult piece I ever played. I'm preparing for percussion festival in Patagonia, Ar Argentina. Wow. Most difficult piece. That's that's really difficult. Yes. I've I've never seen something so yes. hard. Yeah. You know what? I have this wonderful <laughs> instrument. Yeah, yeah. And they inspired me, and I can play. Ah. Oh. There you go. There you go. I think the one that you did with one mallet was a lot more difficult than that. Okay, so anyway, we are here at the Australian Percussion Academy and I'm with Sergei Golovko, director. Nice to meet you, Sergei. Nice Once to meet Once again, you. good nice to see you. This is, this is the studio space that I've heard so much about. Look at all the instruments. And what brand are they, Sergei? What brand is this? Uh, it's brand... Malatech. Malatech. Brilliant accent. Malatech. Woo! Actually... MGB Marimba. I think... I MGB think... Michael okay. Barrett Designs. So, okay, it's one of the few people in Australia who has two five octave marimbas in the studio. And they are both Malatech marimbas. This is the Grand Imperial, is yes. that right? And this is the, of course, Senior. MJB Harley, Harley Davidson. Why the Grand Imperial? Why this one? Uh, this one is absolutely incredible instrument because of its sound. Using the Stevens mallets, right? What are the yeah, LS1? Stevens Stevens mallets, yeah, and it's brown label. LS5, yeah. all right, yeah. give it a hit. Yeah. <laughs> Would you say Malatek is favoured for their bass end? Because they have these very wide bars at the bottom that yes, are not yes. common on but other that, instruments. That's only on this uh, brand, Grand Imperial. Oh, okay. On right. MGB instrument, I love... It's a bit more standardised. The bars, low octave, yep. are thicker. Vertically thicker. Yes. Yeah. Still the same effect of nice, beautiful, flowing, big sound. The same time, standard size of the bars. There you go. You want to give this one a hit? Are those Barrett's? Yes. Yes, I of love course. Barrett's, man. What are these? MB8. Eight. Yeah. Rings for quite a long time. So see, it's a very, very big, huge sound. Clear. Medium soft mallets and you still yeah. got some clarity. That's not, quite impressive. Yeah, not even hard mallets. Yeah. Medium soft. What about right up here? What about right up here? That's pretty good. It's definitely a very unique instrument. I've said this on the channel before, but the MJB is one of the most outstanding designs you can see because it is so prominent. You can't really ignore the massive uh, five inch exhaust pipes down here. <laughs> like they're pretty big. And my of course, Russian accent is probably horrible. Yeah. No, I love it. You, you, you want to hear my Russian accent? My name is Sergei Golovko. And my name is Sergei Golovko. I'm the director of the Australian Percussion Academy. I'm the director of the Australian Marimba Competition. I welcome You're... you to Melbourne for the Australian <laughs> Marimba Competition. 
Sue me now. Yeah, the black vibraphone. So not many yeah. companies make black vibes. The only other one I know is probably Majestic. Yeah. Valatex Amiga. One day, you mm. come to this studio and you will see probably on this walls a lot of lots of mallets. That would be cool. Yeah, mallet tech. Mallet. Bigger mallet wall than mine, yeah. yeah. And you will see another vibraphone here in studio and I will prepare for you demonstration. Oh, yeah. And we will do it especially for you, the Me? studio. The studio? Yes, the studio. The studio. Yep. Just for us, the studio yes. family. There you go. Absolutely. I mean, a lot of you guys have been asking me to look at mallet tech vibraphones because I looked at the one vibe last year. But this is pretty different when you think about it. I mean, it's still got a strap pedal, which I like strap pedals. No fans. No fans, exactly. Motor start work, so plate cover resonators mm -hmm. and back. Ah, so the whole thing moves in one action. Yes. And yes. because of resonators always open, so you got 100% of sound all actually, the time, yeah. Uh, out. But if it will be a fence there... Then you've got a thing blocking it. Yes, it's, it's a 25% of sound will be mm. gone. It's a really, really clever idea actually to use this whole plate. Yes. But I love the color. I think the black is great. But the red one, you're going to get a red one soon. Yes. Yeah. Uh, this is Bob Becker instrument. Oh, Rob Nopper has one of these as well. That's a Malatek. Malatek! Yeah, it's a Malatek. Bob Becker uh, ragtime. The Bob Becker xylophone. Yes. And uh, it's got the... The round bars. This always catches my eyes all the time. The rounded edges. Very bright instrument sound. You, you, you want to play me some uh, Porgy yeah. and Beth? No, not Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. That really hard one note solo that you just played before. That was so, uh, I can't, I, very I have difficult. To practice, mate. No time. So, oh, okay. I guess you don't need to practice then. Wow. I don't think you need to practice. So <laughs> it's yeah, okay. No. Oh, now you're just showing off. So. <laughs> There you go. Fantastic. <laughs> a really nice sounding xylophone. It's really warm for something that is usually quite bright. And the brass color is very vintage. I love it. See, this is the piece I was talking about. It's so difficult. How do you get a single mallet to land on the bar so accurately? That's, that's insane. Oh. And then you, you ported it down to the bottom octave. Isn't that just so clever? Oh, and that's the extra page. Yeah. And that's uh, the variation. That's Sergei's uh, Malatek stuff, which he's got a lot. Four instruments. And then we got a Musa four and a third, by the looks of it. Musa is the classic. And then we got some uh, LP. We got, of course, the token boom whackers. Frame drum. Got some buckets. Some more buckets. What is that? A Darabuka? Two congas. We got what appears to be a multitude of tambourines. <laughs> well, that's a nice snare drum. And then we have a whole bunch of mallets. Sergey likes Malatek. We still got a whole bunch of stuff. Got to respect the diversity Hello. of the collection. Hello. Did you mention this snare drum? What, what is the snare drum? Red Rock. Red Rock. And Red Rock, it's our Australian Oh, company. local. There yes, you go. Local. Looks beautiful. Absolutely amazing instrument. Uh, another one snare drum what I have here is Mastro Lucio. Mastro Lucio. Lucio. What an exotic name. Yes, Lucio Mastro. Mastro, not maestro, yeah. but Mastro, Mastro is your name. Okay, yeah. Yeah, Italian. Yeah. He is making concert snare drums for MSO, for basically around Australia. <laughs> there you go. Just because this is a percussion academy doesn't mean the gear isn't good. It's all quite good, quite high standard gear and definitely a lot of choices here. For timpani, this is very rare as well. You don't usually see timpani in an external academy, but they're here because uh, Sergei just knows everything. Thank you, Sergei. Yeah. Malatek! I used to own these speakers, they're great. Let's not forget the brand. Malatek! Malatek! From the director of the Australian Percussion Academy. A really great space, so yeah. It's really great. A very important part of Academy is yeah. Nespresso coffee machine. Oh, where's that? There it is, the beast! <laughs> This is the Percussion Academy. Everything has to be quite energetic. What's this banner mean? Australian Marimba Competition. The Just big... one year ago, yeah. right here in this chair, I made that video. Remember you? you... Oh, yeah. Hi, my name is Sergei Golovko. Yeah, uh -huh. that's right. I was sitting here. Now, one year later, I'm sitting again in this chair. Once again, I would like to invite everyone <laughs> from all around the world to come 
to Australia. Come to Melbourne and have fun and make new friends and drink. Maybe, maybe not this bit. But... I didn't say drink <laughs> something. Um, yeah, I said drink coffee. Oh yeah, yes. Nespresso. <laughs> Applications deadline, I think it's first, first of, of May. May. Yeah. So you have a few days to make videos and send mm. it to us. Yeah, I'll put the link in the description below. It's going to yes, be please. really yeah. fast. But uh, oh, would you look at that? It's the winner of the previous Australian Rumor competition, Therese. Oh, what a what a coincidence that Therese is here. What what a shocking. Okay, that's no, all really. These two guys, yeah. Adam, yeah. and Therese going to Japan. Oh, that's ah. why. It's totally not yeah. because Therese won the AMC. <laughs> yes. Yes. And they're going to practice here. Yes, that's right. We're going to be using this beautiful space and these two beautiful marimbas and of course this beautiful Russian yes. man over here as well. Yeah, Sergei Gorovko. Yeah, you are very beautiful. You got to join this competition. It's a really great competition, great repertoire list, great judges. Who's the judges this year? Me. There you go. Just, just so you know. This year, our judges uh, Wei Chen Lin. Wei Chen. Yep. That's this him. guy. That's yep. professor. Lin Vartan. Lin Vartan. All the way from America. Arthur Lipner. Yeah. Yes. That's the guy. James Whiting is also going to be James Whiting. James Whiting. Yep. Peter Neville. Peter Neville. Head of percussion, Melbourne University. Yeah. Amazing musician, great guy. And Steve Falk. Yeah. Great marimba player and teacher of this young lady. Yep. Who won? Let's not forget. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Anyone can do this competition. Is that right, Sergei? Absolutely. Anyone. 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 See, even I, 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 can, I just learned twinkle little yeah twinkle, no twinkle. that was a very difficult yeah i know you're but, just making but it sound I did easy it. i did it yeah i know I you it. work very you hard you practice very hard for that yes. sort of. competition has attracted a lot of people in the past i mean this guy the man himself he came and there's no reason why you shouldn't do it i think it's a great opportunity to meet people including so yes, link in the description below Come. um i'll be there as well so <laughs> there you go be here yeah in august mm. okay check www.percussionacademy.com.au mm. Thank you for having me, Sergey. And thank you for coming. No worries. We'll be back here again to rehearse. But until then, I hope you enjoyed that little short video about all this stuff. This is just a crazy space, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> thank you. Oh, he's gone. Okay. He's gone. No, he's not gone. He's here. I'm gone. He's, no, he's gone. No, I'm there gone. he is. There he is. He's in the picture now. <laughs> thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much for everything. And I will see you guys Ciao, next week. Go. Good night. Ha <laughs>